Hi guys, good afternoon, Mommy Mar here. So today I have the time to finally create the, another re most requested vlog on my Instagram and that is how I edit my Instagram photo. So photos. So I just wanted to show you guys a very simple steps on how I keep the, uh, the tone on my Instagram feed. So usually it seems like I'm sticking to a washed out peachy or an orangey kind of feed. So I'm gonna be show you um, how I did this on the application called Lightroom. So there's only one app that I keep on using to edit my photo. So first off, let's try it on a recent photo that I have uploaded on Instagram. So let's say this photo for Sun Silk. So first step guys, I just had to add the photo on the Lightroom app and then I just go ahead and click on the presets button right here on the bottom. So there are several presets that are currently saved on my phone, but I'm sticking to the Adira preset, all right? So that's what makes my photo looks kind of peaky. So as you can see, once I click on the Adira preset, it automatically transforms the photo. However, so that it will gonna match the tone on my feed, these are the uh, basic um, settings that I'm adjusting on the uh, preset itself, right? So once you have already selected the preset, first I go on to light, and then I usually higher the exposure to to 40, yeah, to 40 or 50 sometimes depending um, on the photo itself. Let's say I took the photo outside, you, normally I just set it to 40, but if I want it to look more lighter, I adjust it to 50. So for this time, I'm going to ad adjust it on 40, All right? And then I usually set the contrast around negative 20 or negative 30. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Contrast makes the photo kind of look sharp or soft depending on your preference. So yeah, I just toggle it between negative 30 or negative 20 to 30 most of the time. And then I usually set the highlights to negative 100, right? Yes, that's make the photo look soft. Right, and it looks kind of washed off as, um, as I was saying earlier. Because as you can see, if you adjust the highlight, it looks kind of darker. And it's not gonna match the, the tone in my feed. However, if I set the highlight to negative 100, that's how I get the soft and washed up tone. Right, and then I usually set the shadows to positive 100. Okay, and then um, if I'm not satisfied yet with the lighting of the photo, I kind of adjust the whites to negative 50. But since I took this photo outside, I'm just gonna leave it to negative 100 because I wanted the photo to look soft, all right? And then this will make or break your photo or this is the uh, uh, usually what I'm um, adjusting depending on the quality of the photo that I'm taking, the black setting, okay? So if like this one, I took it outside. So I kind of leave the black at least to 20 to 30, positive 20 to 30. But sometimes if I think that the photo looks very white, I kind of adjust it to negative 10 to 20, but not more than, okay? So for this photo, since I already like the lighting, I'm gonna be adjusting it to positive 30 right there. So that we're just gonna be emphasizing the, um, the whiter use on this photo. Okay, and the next thing, so that's gonna be all for the light. We're not gonna be adjusting anything. And uh, now let's proceed to the color. So uh, since I'm sticking to a pink, uh, wash up peachy or a pinkish tone, I usually set the temp between uh, 10 to 15, but not more than, okay? So for this photo, I'm gonna be setting it to 15. Right there. And then I usually adjust the tint to 20, because I like the the, tone of the picture to be more of pinkish you no know? so that sometimes even though i'm not wearing lipstick it seems like i'm wearing lipstick like in this one if you can see earlier when it's set to zero it's kind of like a natural lip but when i adjust it to 20 it seems like i'm wearing a popping pink lippy right so yeah there and then yes vibrance i usually adjust it to 20 as well so as you can see if it's just set to zero the picture kind of looks pale However, if I adjust it to 20, look at that. So it kind of look like a morena. <laughs> Gives me the morena skin tone that I like. So there you go. And if the photo looks very orangey on me, I'm gonna be just adjusting the saturation to negative five. But if I wanted to, um, if I'm okay with a 
how orangey the picture looks like, kind of leave the saturation to negative 10. Okay? So, yeah. That's gonna be for the light and the color. So, again, it's gonna be just the tint and the vibrance that I'm usually adjusting to 20, 2020. Okay? And then, this is gonna, if you want it that soft look, like the Barbie-ish, <laughs> the, the, uh, the, like if you wanted to get that Korean touch photo, um, this is what I'm usually adjusting as well, the clarity. I usually set it to 40 or negative 40. Yeah. So as you can see earlier, it's set to 70. The percent is set to 70. But when I adjust it to 40, you get that dreamy Barbie-ish vibe on your photo. There. You see? So... That's, so since we lessened the clarity of the photo to make that soft tone on the photo itself, we're gonna be, if you wanted to um, make your picture as if it was taken by a DSLR or a um, high-tech camera or, or some sort, I just adjust the sharp, uh, yeah, the sharpening or the detail, the sharpening to 50. But usually, let's say if it's a flat lay or if it's a... Um, yeah, if the subject is not me, I usually adjust the sharpening to 150, the full one. But since this is a portrait fo uh, photo, I usually set the portrait sharpens settings to 50. Just 50 is right. So there. That's how I normally adjust the, uh, the settings of my pictures. So if you want, we can do another one. So let me add another photo from my gallery. Okay, so let's take this photo from an event. It's from PH Care event. So I'm just gonna crop it first. I'm gonna be removing some of the unwanted detail from the photo. Okay, there. So after I crop it, again, I'm gonna be applying the preset or the preset, which is Adira, there. And then, gonna be going to the light settings, adjust the exposure to 40. Contrast the negative 20 and leave it as it is. Shadows, whites. And then since the photo seems too very white for me, I'm gonna be lessening it to, let's say, 10. Let's make it 10. Okay. So I don't wanna look very white. Okay, so and then we're gonna be adjusting the temp to, uh, let's say, 15. Yeah, there, around 15. And then the 10 to 20. Vibrance to 20 as well, and then since it looks very pinkish, pinkish this time, I'm gonna be lessening it to um, let's do it to negative 20. There, and then adjust the clarity to 40 so it's gonna look soft, and the sharpening to 50 or 55. So, there, that's how I easily adjust the photo with just very few settings. Uh, that's how I achieve the the tone and the, the details and the sharpness of my photo that I'm usually putting on my Instagram. So there you go, guys. If you wanted to, um, I'd be willing to share with you the exact presets that I'm using on my Instagram. But make sure to follow me on Instagram at Mami Mori and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Riri Vola. And by the way, guys, this preset that I'm using is from Apps by RS on Instagram. You can search them at at apps by rs all right so there you go guys if you have any more requested blog just type it in on the comments below make sure to follow me on instagram at mami mori and subscribe to my youtube channel for more tutorials at riri volante have a good day guys bye, bye.